right, now that we've established that Brussels sprouts are all the rage on the internet. I think they're kind of gross. I mean, I think they're kind of gross, but I'm still gonna cook with them. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you sort of the way, the one of the only ways I enjoy eating Brussels sprouts into this buttery, cheesy baked pasta with some sage. So let's do this. So this is a super simple recipe. The ingredient list is very short and unlike many other sort of baked pasta, it's not gonna be extremely heavy. It's gonna be a lighter version of a baked pasta with Brussels sprouts. So first off, one of my favorite winter ingredient, leeks. I'm gonna take two smaller leeks, but if you were to have a bigger one, just one will do just fine. Cut it lengthwise like this. And then what we're gonna do is cut some thin half moons. So you don't need to go paper thin. This knife is so sharp. Ah, oh, fuck. Cut a huge chunk of my mm. nail. <laughs> leeks. If your leeks are dirty, dunk them in some cool water, shake them around, and then we'll fish them out and that should leave the dirt kind of at the bottom. So I have my leeks here draining. I have a medium pan over medium heat. And I'm gonna do a little bit of plain neutral oil. And that's how we're gonna start cooking those. Very gently, we're gonna cook those for about five minutes. In this mix with the leeks, we're gonna do about eight leaves of sage. Thinly slice the sage. When it comes to winter herbs like this, you mostly wanna cook them for a very long time in order to get like maximum flavor out of them. If you were to just toss them in at the end or not cook them at all, it's just gonna end up being like this weird rubbery piece of fuzzy herb that you don't like, but if you cook it, you're gonna get such a good flavor. And I know this is like salt and pepper cooking, but I'm still gonna do half of a chili. Crumble up in there. This is about the equivalent of like half of a teaspoon of chili flakes, salt, some black pepper. While this is going, we're gonna get to the Brussels sprouts. So I cleaned up my Brussels sprouts already. I just chop up the very bottom and allow for a few ugly leaves on the outside to kind of fall away with it. So I always cut them the same way, which I could cut side down first like this, sorry. And then we're gonna slice thinly, about halfway to once it's like this, put it down flat, and then we go the other way like this. And one more time, we put it flat on this side, and then we cut like this. So that gives us this really cool variation. We got whole things, halves, and kind of like quarters. I'm gonna do that with about 16 Brussels sprouts. So just before adding the Brussels sprouts to my tender leeks, I'm gonna drop my pasta. I use today a rigatoni. As long as you use some, some kind of a medium-sized noodle. So I have about three cups, which is gonna be good for feeding two people with some leftovers. And I'm gonna add my Brussels sprouts to my leeks. Once again, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And it might need a little bit more cooking oil if you notice that it's getting a little too dark. So for this baked pasta here, it's really not gonna go in the oven for very long. So I'm taking the pasta to exactly the point of cooking that I enjoy. So I'm gonna take it to like al dente like I normally would. But before straining it, I'm gonna reserve about one cup of pasta liquid. And I'm ready to strain. So before adding my pasta back in this I'm gonna create a sauce. First of all, I have four tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna melt this with my veggie mixture. So that is all over sort of medium to low heat. And then once my butter is fully melted, I'm gonna add about what seems like a lot, but I'm gonna add about half of a cup of pasta water. So I did not season my pasta water too much today because I'm gonna use a lot into creating this sauce. So what we're looking for is not a super thick sauce, and not necessarily something that just looks like melted butter and water. Once you add a little bit of heat to the melted water, melted butter and water, it's gonna turn into a very light, creamy sauce. Add my pasta back in and mix everything very well together. Still over low heat. Mikey's little brother, Sean, hi Sean, made fun of me for using so much olive oil. So I'm not using any oil this time because I feel ashamed about my olive oil intake. Thanks Sean, and it's, it's butter season, you know? And last but not least, this is the crucial part, half of a lemon. All the juice of half of a lemon. And like I said, I know this is like salt and pepper cooking, but if you don't do lemon juice, what are you here for? Mixed one last time. Light on the sauce, heavy on the veggie. A little tasty. 
everything is good to go. So we'll turn it off. Again, and before putting it in the oven, I have about one and a half cup of grated fontina that I grated ahead of time. And we're gonna finish up the pasta with this on top. Before I put it in the broiler at high for really just a few minutes, just to get the cheese nice and caramelized. And then we wait patiently. This is it. I mean, this could be ready to eat if you feel like it, but if you're really feeling yourself, you could perhaps finish it with some breadcrumbs and maybe some fried sage. That's really, if you're, you got somebody to impress, which you do. If you really wanted to take it to the next level, get some other lemon zest. This lemon is insane. It just smells like some matte candy. This the best lightest Brussels sprout baked pasta with sage, butter, lemon, and that's just how I like my baked pasta. And there you have it. Your easy, light, and flavorful Brussels sprouts pasta that does not taste like farts, just tastes like what you've been hoping Brussels sprouts tasted like all your life. Now we're gonna eat, so goodbye. It's so good. It's even better than yesterday.